hello guys welcome back to my channel this is sim and stitches on today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how i made this beautiful outfit you are seeing on your screen i want you to come along with me as we make this design together so this is a queen hands neckline dress that has a bust cage it's a bustier with a bust cage and it also has an under bust corset an underbust corset so that is what we are making i want you to come and watch this attentively all right guys so the first process is to draft the pattern and to my surprise i had already drafted this pattern using a pencil with the hope that it will be clear until i checked and i saw that it wasn't clear so that is why you have those marks those are plain penciled marks that i drew on the papers so i decided to go on and you know just trace it out with a marker i hope this is clear Th thanks to amarachi chinwe for calling my attention to the previous video that was not clear enough and i also wanted to know that this video had been made before this comment was um written so in my next videos i'm going to be using a more darker shade probably a, a black shade of a marker so that it will show very well on the screen all right let's get into the tutorial proper now the first thing you want to go ahead and do is to mark all your length measurement so i went on to mark my shoulder to bust point shoulder to under bust shoulder to waistline and shoulder to um waistline and one inch so it's going to be having half length so that my half length is my waistline so i added one inch as my seam allowance that is what you are seeing there those are the length measurements then also i marked my shoulder line at the top i marked the shoulder line eight inches and from that eight inches i went on to mark my ham hole line so look at that i'm drawing the ham hole line now so that ham hole line is where my chest line will be so i marked the round ham hole divided by two so i marked it and i drew it on my chest line then also i went on to mark my neck dead and neck width so this is like the standard measurement three by three inches we are still going to alter the neckline but we are going with the standard for now three inches wide and three inches depth so that was what i wrote here and then i also went on to connect the shoulder lines with the neck mark that i just indicated so that is just it it is very easy if you check my previous videos you will understand this basic drafting pattern now the next one i divided by armhole my armhole by two just as you are as you are seen on the screen so i got half of that half of my armhole that is my armhole divided by two whatever you have mark it there and then you come inward by half inch with this we are going to be marking the armhole slope so it's going to cut off the excess um, fabric or excess space at the armhole region. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and do now is to mark my dart lines. So you mark four inches, my bust pan, that is um, nipple to nipple measurements for me. It is three, it is four inches. So I marked that four inches all through. You can see as I marked it, then you connect it together all through on a straight line. You're going to stop on your bust point. Your bust point is where you are stopping so you connect it like that uh, you can see what i wrote the bust point i went on to label just to show it in a more clearer way all right guys so now that you have drafted your that the next thing we want to do is to do our bust tightening right bust tightening now to get the bust tightening you need your high bust measurement so from your bust point mark three inches upward so that three inches is going to be your line for your high bust you can see that there just mark three inches from your high bust this is like the standard measurement it varies depending on the bust um sizes so for me it is three inches so i marked the three inches high bust measurement and then i also went on to mark out the dart line the four inches dart line i indicated it on the high bust line you remember we stopped at the bust point line for the dart line the four inches for the dart so i just went on to indicate that right away next thing i'm going to draft my shoulder dart and then to identify this i'm going to divide my shoulder by two from the neck point to the 
shoulder line i divided it by two whatever you have there divided by two and then you connect it like that on a slant line to your bust point you connect it on a slant line to your bust point don't forget it is connected to your bust point so that is what you do there next thing we are going to be having our our bust that we're going to be removing the excess that we have from the back um, half length with the front half length so for me it's like about one inch or 1.5 so it depends for me i used 1.5 inches and then you connect it by the size look at what i did i connected it to the bust point so that is going to be my line for my that bust that my bust that so i'm going to be tightening the bust that you can see the silhouette from what i have traced out like that these are just basic top designs like basic pattern for the designing of the top now the next thing we want to do now is to do the dart line now this is a bustier dart now what you do is to get that perfectly snatched under bust line this is what you do now for the mid for the side side part of your pattern the side you are going to be marking 1.5 inches now the total amount of the darts we are using for this pattern is two inches in all so now for the for the side we are going to be having 1.5 inches which is that the higher proportion of that that is on the side line whereas for the middle we are just going to be having half inch did you get that for the middle we are going to be marking half inch just as i'm doing but for the sides under the arm or under bust line we are going to be marking 1.5 inches under the under on the under bust line that under bust line just mark your 1.5 inches but for the center piece for the center piece of your pattern you're going to be marking half inch all the way through now you connect that 1.5 inches to your one inch on the waistline one inch on the waistline but 1.5 inches on the under bust line this one is for the under bust tightening so by the time you have it, you have a slanted line by the side, whereas the middle point is just half inch all the way through. Half inch on the under bust and also half inch on the waistline. So that's just it. You have just successfully tightened your under bust. You have taken SS, uh, SS 0.5 inches for your under bust line. By the time you are done calculating the amount of that line you took, it's going to be 2 inches for the underboss, whereas 1.5 for the waistline. So you have added extra 0.5 inches as a tightening for that. So just go ahead and curve it out. Connect the boss point to your underboss line that you marked and for the side and for the center piece. As you can see, the shape is already forming. You can already see the silhouette of the boss line. So this is just how it is very simple to do it is very very simple if you follow the process that is how to tighten the underboss you can make the underboss to be even closer than that so that's just it all right the next thing we want to do now is to tighten the shoulder line so we want to go ahead and tighten the shoulder and the high bust line all right so now we open up the bust line and the shoulder line don't forget the bust that that we have we open it up i had already opened it you know i said i had already finished the video before seeing that the picture is not clear so just go ahead and cut your own pattern cut the shoulder shoulder line the the dust line connecting the shoulder with the bust cut it open and also cut the shoulder uh, the bust line that is being connected to the bust point so you can see what i did there you carefully open it and place it exactly let 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 your dart line your shoulder dart line be on your bust point line so we have we have cancelled that and we have transferred the bust the bust dart to the shoulder you can see that the shoulder is more opened now so we have extra dart allowance there it is more opened and now we can manipulate and work with it to tighten up the bust point do you understand this it is very easy to do now the next thing we want to do now is to draft out our eye bust tightening lines so for the center piece also i'm going to be marking one inch almost one inch actually 0 0.75 inches i'm going to zoom in for you to see clearly so 0 0.75 inches mark it and then on the other side also you mark one inch so making it two inches two inches one inch on the right and one inch on the left now after doing that you are going to be transferring that two inches by the side arm 
hole. By the side arm hole, you transfer. Just extend that, you know, that eye bust line there. Extend it and then you mark your two inches from your arm hole line. It is very simple. Watch what I did. I extended the line and on that line, I marked my two inches and then I drew the new arm hole line. Very simple to do. It is very simple. What we just did is to transfer the dust that we removed at the um, bust line. We are transferring it to the sides. We are transferring it to the sides. That is just it. So you go ahead and connect the new dust line to the bust point. Everything is focusing on the bust point. Do not forget. So connect the new dust line to the bust point. And just go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, the next thing we want to do now is to mark the dart line on the shoulder line. So what we do is from the left side and from the right side, you are going to be marking one inch, one inch um, line each on each side. One, one inch from the right and one inch from the left line. As you can see there, so you mark it all the way. So with that, we have two inches in total. And this two inches is actually equivalent to the space that we have in between the lines. So the space that you have in between the dart line that you are seeing from your shoulder is 2 inches. Now you are going to go ahead and measure that 2 inches from where your 1 inch stopped. Yes, from that part, you start your 1 inch. From where your 1 inch stopped, you are going to re replicate your 2 inches line. So you replicate it by the side such that we have transferred the dart again to the side. Do not forget that we also transferred the dart on the high bust to the sides. So these two inches is also being transferred now. So I'm just going to draw out the lines for it to be clearer for you to understand what I'm doing. One inch on the right side and one inch on the left side. Everything is connected to that your dart line. Don't forget, you are pointing at the bust point. So this space that you have now is what we have replaced by the sides. So this is going to be our new shoulder line. So I'm just going to fold it in in order not to get confused with that line. Those are excess that we are not going to be using them. We'll be cutting them off from the shoulder line. You can see that with that, we have added extra tightening to the shoulder point. So this is our new that like our new shoulder line by the sides. I'm just going to connect it together and I'm going to draw the new ham hole. See, I extended the line. Don't forget, we are still slanting it as a shoulder slope. And then you are going to, from where you, the two inches that you marked on your high bust, that's going to be the curve for your ham hole line. Just connect it. Very easy to do. Connect it like that. So I connected it with my shoulder point, the two inches at the, at the top of the shoulder, where I have transferred the SS at the center, the dust line. I transferred it on the shoulder line to the sides. And then you connect it together. Very simple. Guys, I hope you understand. Please let me know in the comment section if you understand this thing. It is very easy, very easy and simple to do. Now we have the center piece and we have the side piece. You can see that this is coming together like the shape is coming together. It is forming what we want to form. This is just so lovely and beautiful to see. Like when you see your imaginations come to life, this is very simple. Okay, guys, so next now we are going to shape on out this pattern. I'm going to mark all the round measurements after I have divided them by four. So I'm going to be marking my Honda bust measurement divided by four, my waist measurement divided by four. I'm going to mark my bust measurement divided by four. Now, for me to get this proper measurement, I have to just open it up from the dart line in order to mark it on that line on the under on bust bust point line that is where i marked my bust measurement all right so guys you do go ahead and mark out all the round measurements divided by four this piece is just for a half of the fabric this is not for the whole fabric we are dividing the fabric by four when we are cutting so the body measurements round body measurements are divided by four so i had gone ahead to mark it out and i'm just going to connect it with my marker for you to be able to see clearly so that shape is already formed you can see the body shape that is formed so that is it just like that 
Guys, this method is one of the easiest you can learn in making your under bust tightening, eye bust tightening, shoulder dart, and bustier dart measurement. All right, guys. So the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and mark the neck shape we're going to cut out the neck shape the queen hands neckline the way i want it to be for this design so we're going to cut it out now in order to get the accurate one i'm just going to connect the shoulder line together first i will connect the shoulder lines together first then i'm going to be marking out what i want now you remember that our our armhole has, a, has extended by that side by two inches so that is our line now from that two inches mark I'm just going to come in by about 1 inch or 1.5 depending on how much you want by the side. You can also make it 2 inches if you like. I'm going to connect it to my neckline. That neckline that we drafted 30 inches that we drafted by the neck, neck width earlier on. We are going to connect it there and it's going to stop on my high bust measurement because I do not want it to show the upper part of my bust area. So it's just like if you want it to be deeper than that, you can just move downward. It depends on what you desire. So that is just it. Look at it. This part that I'm shading, I'm going to be cutting it off. We have successfully drafted that neckline like that. You connect from your neck area, the neck width, connect it to that two inches on the high bust that you have marked. So that is just it very simple i'm going to be cutting out this part as to sh as i've shaded to show and indicate the parts where we are not going to be using so guys i went on to mark out all the excess areas that i won't be using now it is time for you to cut it out so just go ahead and cut out the dart lines guys now we are moving to the back pattern so we are done with the front pattern for this design we are going to be drafting the back pattern now so i'm going to be having zip allowance so i made it two inches so you you can make yours to be one or 1.5 but i'm just used with two inches so that is what i usually use for my designs so i marked the two inches line then i also went on to mark my um other measurements i marked my shoulder line the same um eight inches then then from the shoulder line i came down by one inch and then i also marked my neck width my neck width is three inches but i made my neck depth to be one inch 1 1.5 inches so i connected my neck width to my neck depth to have my neck line and then i also connected my shoulder line to my shoulder slope line you can see what i did there next thing i went to do is to mark my shoulder to bust point measurement so i connected it from the shoulder point to the bust point and i connected it on a straight line i also marked my shoulder to waist length so my back waist length so you take your back waist length measurement that is the half length measurement for your back so it usually varies from the front so you take that measurement and you mark it out here so i marked it out on the back line also and i connected it with a straight line after that i marked all the round measurement the round round waist measurement and the round bust measurement i indicated it on the pattern that i had just drawn and i also went on to mark my ham hole measurement also so i drafted my ham hole line but this time around you can see the way i did it i didn't come in because this is the back and the ss fabric is necessary for the back line because the back is wider than the front armhole so i didn't take in 
the half inch unlike the one i did on the front line now i also went on to mark my dart line from my waist to my from my waist to my chest area i marked my dart line half inch on one side half inch on each side half on the right side and half inch on the left side then i connected it together in form of a triangle to indicate where my dart line is basically the back pattern is one of the simplest pattern to draft when it comes to pattern drafting it is very easy and fast to do so with this i had seamlessly drawn the back pattern i also indicated my um, my zip line so on my zip line i came in by one inch and i connected it to that my top area to the chest line like that so this is just to avoid the excess bulginess that usually comes up when you wear your fabric when you wear your dress and when you remove this excess fabric it's just going to lay flat and give you the curve of the spinal cord area you know the, the spinal cord is not a straight it's just you no know, kind of sloppy so this is what we are trying to indicate now so i marked out the excess part that i'm cutting away i marked out all the way through like that the dart line the zip area that i'm cutting and then the neck area then i connected it together in the by the side and i went on to cut it with this i had done the back pattern at the back part this is a keyhole for the back area i want it to have a keyhole to open a bit so this is just what i went on to do so i marked from the neck area from where my neck stops i marked about two inches two inches line so that is my two inches line like that and i also went on to draft about the remaining part which is about five inches i connected it to the dart line as an ss so it's going to be like an SS and it's going to be in form of a circle around shape. So what I did is just to connect it to the dart line as it is coming from the ammo line. From as it is coming from the neck area, I just connected it to the dart line. You can see what I'm doing there. So that's just it. So now this is going to be a keyhole. By the time I'm done sewing this back, there's going to be like a circle round opening at the back. So this is the pattern for the back. Very simple to draft and easy. Straightforward. We are done. <music> 